Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle so what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game Which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Henrik Mkhitaryan. He's not the biggest, strongest or quickest, Peter, but what he lacks in physique, he certainly makes up for with a supreme footballing intelligence and, and great technique. He just seems to be able to see situations develop before anybody else, and he usually tends to pick the right option too. OK, interesting. That gets things running. Tries to get it forward quickly. Vida positions himself well and cuts it out. Vlasic. Perisic. Perisic not easily shrugged off the ball. He's looking unstoppable here. It's a good-looking cross. Perisic can't want to pass up the chance to run up the defence. He loves those duels. It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact, but safe in numbers. Vlasic. It's being played forward. Drives it towards the front. Out to the right. Shapes to shoot! Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Vlasic. And it's Perisic. Perisic to towering header. Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Hoists it forward. Done very well to intervene. Brozovic. And it's played forward. Modric, no change to the score, nil-nil it remains. Looks to set one, diving header! Hits it again, but still no joy. Croatia are literally using their heads with some very good service, but it's time for someone to add authority.
Vlasic. Modric. Modric goes looking. Perisic. A nice touch. In towards the middle. Forward it goes. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Vida goes looking. Perisic. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. to get it forward quickly. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Vida, as well to read it and intercepts. Back to the keeper and try something new. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Perisic. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. We can review the first half. It's been all left field, and while the supply has been decent, it's bringing no reward, so this needs a different approach. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. And we're underway again. Croatia. Playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Vida, Modric, Vlasic. Point blank header! Good delivery, no joy. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. And it's played forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Now he's wondering who wants it. Lovely bit of skill. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Mukatari. Hoists it forward. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside.
Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Incoming cross. Mkhitaryan goes looking. Brozovic. Forward it goes. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Pramaric really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Beautifully done. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And it's played forward. Gorgeous control there. Pumps it into the area. This is purely a case of, of poor end product. They've got to add more pride to their work. Mkhitaryan. Oh, he's been flattened there. Oh, right on the edge of the penalty area. What's he giving here? And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Precisely what he showed and it only took a little drop of the shoulder to send the keeper completely the wrong way Didn't he take it well? Breakthrough goal, as you may have predicted, but not at the end most of us anticipated. Tramaric. Tram has a pop! He scores! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Croatia grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Brozovic. Now, where's he looking? Knocks it away. Throw in. 
Croatia making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. He's got the... He's gone for it! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. Lovely bit of skill there. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. He's left his man. And a header! Oh, that's incredible! And that has raised the roof! Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the pond, this fella is definitely no slouch. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Tramaric. And that's it. Croatia made a big part in it, but they walk away with nothing. Which is somewhat what we've witnessed, Jim. Croatia certainly didn't see this coming. They didn't even walk the walk. Never mind talk the talk. So we have to end it from me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin. A very good evening to you all.